Welcome to Delivery Day. This is my latest cargo from India. I'm a little bit beyond excited. Let's see what's inside. Hopefully some great love boat stuff. When the Love Boat initially came out, I was thrilled that they were shooting on a ship. When we started the show, Princess had three ships. They had the Island Princess and the Pacific Princess, both of which were the biggest ships of their, um, of their class at the time, and they were 750 passengers. In other words, one-fifth the size of this ship. And then they had this little runabout called the Sun Princess that just would go down to uh, Ensenada and back from Los Angeles. I mean, it's more like a catamaran than anything else. So here are some of my love boat secrets to watch out for if you want to know which ship it was on. First of all, the pilot episodes were shot on board the Sun Princess. Completely different ship, much smaller, not nearly as glamorous as the island and Pacific. So on the pilot episodes, you won't see anything from this house. We always shot on the island princess or the Pacific princess. And they were, of course, identical, so it was hard to tell the difference. And that was on purpose. On the Pacific Princess, in the lobby, you will see a bronze sculpture on the Carrara marble where the staircase comes down. It's a bronze sculpture of the seven continents and it's very squiggly. And in the studio reproduction of it, it looks really cheap and you know not nearly as beautiful as the actual bronze sculpture itself. Farewell to the last love boat, love seat. I get a lot of requests for items that are from the love boat, the Island Princess. You know, first I have to explain, no, it's not the Pacific Princess, but it's the identical ship in every way except for the artwork. The chairs were the same, the railings, exactly the same. Here's a little piece of the Island Princess, the love boat. Somebody will want a piece of the Island Princess. And if they want something that was affordable, say for you know 20 or 25 dollars they'll buy these little ceiling discs that i got from the the show lounge so these were beautiful discs and when they were being pried off the ceiling in the ship i was like you know i need to save these and so i recreated a part of that in our ceiling with our brilliant handyman who knew how to put everything back up beautifully so I'll sell a few of those. And by the way, the idea of signing them came from Gavin with the signatures from the different Love Boat stars. That's very important, okay. I also have the beautiful lobby glass panels. I've got two of them in my kitchen and I kept the signature piece also. These beautiful glass bits are by an artist named Franz Weiderberg, who was one of the Norwegian artists that was commissioned by the people who built the ship, flagship cruises, and the ship was a showcase of Norwegian arts. Down here is more of the love boat. This right here, this is a, a lion and this one is a wolf. And those were made for the bar that was originally called Noah's Bar. So it had 13 different animals and these all made a beautiful display across in, in what became Carousel Bar on Island Princess. Probably the most important historic thing I got from the Island Princess in a ship enthusiast way is the builder's plate from the Rheinstahl shipyard in Emden, Germany, where she and the Pacific were built. This lady is one of my favorite ladies on the planet, and she was by the pool on the Island Princess. She's a bronze sculptor by an artist named Per Ung. So when they're parading around in their bathing suits, you'll see her in the backdrop. When they shot on Pacific Princess, it was a little boy listening to a conch shell. So that's how you can tell the difference between the island and the Pacific, because otherwise everything about that pool area was identical. Welcome to my love boat patio. You can see here, the teak decking here is from the Island Princess. I literally rescued it while they were prying it off the decks of the ship in India. So I bought a bunch of teak wood and I didn't know what I was gonna do with it at the time. And when we moved into this house, I was like, okay, 
That patio out there is gonna be lined in teak wood from the Island Princess, so I have my teak deck. And on that deck is the actual set tee that was at the foot of the staircase that came down into the beautiful lobby on the Island Princess. And so that's out there, and one of the chairs from your theater, and one of the chairs from the carousel lounge are there as well. So it's my love boat patio, basically. And this is another nice little piece. The deck that surrounded the top of the swimming pool on Island Princess, and you can also see this sign in some of the episodes, 18 times around. Imagine what a small deck that was just to get one mile. You had to do 18 laps. Okay, we're gonna go full speed ahead here. And away we go. Everybody wants a piece of the love boat, right? I think people want a piece of the love boat or to remember the love boat because it's something that made them feel good. People have all sorts of different reasons why they want to buy something, you know, for sentimental reasons. They may have had their first kiss on the aft deck of the ship. To me now, it's just the most nostalgic, wonderful, uplifting thing. We're here for a memorial cruise for our fearless leader, Gavin McCloud. Yay! Yay! Yay. So I am so thrilled to be able to be on a princess ship, the new love boat as it were, with the original cast members from the original love boat, to be able to have that opportunity to be up close with these same people that lit up everyone's living room every Saturday night for so many years. It's such a great opportunity. It's just really, really something that we should all be cherishing.